Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa departed Egypt following his participation in the fraternal consultative meeting at the invitation of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. The key Arab meeting also included UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan. His Majesty the King was seen off by President Sisi, senior Egyptian government officials and the Bahraini ambassador to Egypt, Hisham Mohammed al Joder. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Decree 47 of 2022, appointing Mohammed bin Thamir Al Kaabi as Chairman of the Board of Directors of the National Space Science Agency. According to the decree, Al Kaabi will complete the term of his predecessor, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed. His Royal Highness the Deputy King also issued Decree 48 of 2022, appointing the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal al-Malki, as the Minister responsible for the Labour Fund, Timkin. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman al muayyad and a number of ministers and officials toured Youth City 2030. During the tour, the officials listened to a briefing on the city's objectives of providing training opportunities to qualify Bahraini youth and provide them with all potentialities to unleash their creative energies and develop their skills, thus contributing to the creation of qualified Bahraini cadres to participate in the comprehensive development process process in the kingdom. On this occasion, El Mu'ayyad expressed thanks and appreciation to the officials for visiting the Youth City 2030 to view its programs and events, stressing that their presence in the city represents their support to the youth and affirms the official interest in investing in their energies and creativity. For their part, the ministers and officials expressed appreciation for the role played by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs in supporting Bahraini youth to discover, refine and highlight their talents in various fields, noting that Youth City 2030 is one of the pioneering initiatives that contributes to providing the youth with the necessary skill that paved the way for their entry into the labor market. The Ministry of Youth and Sports always focuses on um, searching for, scouting talent, uh, mentoring talent, and then developing and presenting talent. Though that's the theme of the Youth City this year. Today, we had the distinct privilege of being able to tour the Youth City uh, with our colleagues in government. We had a number of ministers here and each one of them was focusing on scouting talent related to their particular sector. And what we saw is the fantastic opportunities that arise when you have pure ability, pure talent, um, meet with, with uh, the, the opportunities that these ministers can provide. We're very excited about what has come out of today's visit and we look forward to future productions. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Ma'awda, received National Institution of Human Rights, NIHR Chairman Abdullah Al Dirazi. The Minister hailed NIHR's efforts and contributions to further bolster the principles of human rights. The two sides discussed key issues of common interest related to the protection of human rights and consolidating achievements and gains. The Minister stressed the importance of cooperation. Uh, to support institutional paths in dealing with complaints related to human rights in order to ensure the efficiency of measures taken in this regard. BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Dia bin Sagr al-Naimi attended a ceremony to celebrate the Royal Bahrain Naval Force 
RBNF, receiving the command of the Combined Duty Force CTF-152 from Kuwait. In the presence of Commander of United States Naval Forces Central Command and Commander of United States Fifth Fleet Vice Admiral Charles Bradford Cooper. The RBNF received the command of CTF-152 for the first time on March 4, 2008 and the second time on January 6, 2011. The Kingdom of Bahrain, represented by the Ministry of Education, is preparing to participate in the Transforming Education Summit, which will be organized by the UN in the U.S. With the, within the framework of these participations, the Cabinet approved 27 recommendations for national consultations, which included more than 100 participants from government and private educational institutions and civil society institutions. The Ministry continues to discuss aspects of cooperation and coordination with the UN and its affiliated agencies and their support for Bahrain's efforts in the education sector. Consultations with international organizations are held in preparation for the summit, which will take place in New York next September, under the guidance of UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres to come up with solutions that compensate to the losses witnessed in the field of education due to COVID-19 pandemic and to reimagine the future of education to achieve the education-related sustainable development goals by 2030. Within the framework of the Ministry's communication with the relevant authorities, a number of the main components of national consultations were reviewed, namely ensuring that the impact of the disruption of the educational process caused by the pandemic is completely overcome, and identifying the main strategic shifts to reimagine education for the 21st century. The Information and E-Government Authority issued its preliminary report on foreign trade statistics for the month of July 2022. The report includes data on import and exports in addition to the trade balance. The report stated that during the month of July, the value of national origin exports increased by 29%, reaching 421 million dinars, compared to 327 million dinars for the same month last year. The Labour Fund Temkin was awarded the Best Visual Identity from the Public Sector in 2022 edition of Global Brands Awards, a prestigious recognition of Temkin's new brand identity, which was unveiled during the annual consultation forum held earlier this year. The award was presented by the UK-based Global Brands Awards. Temkin was selected from a highly competitive group of organizations that demonstrated unique brand identities and was awarded to honor Temkin's commitment to digital innovation, quality, creativity and to providing a robust economic development system in Bahrain.